I was like you. You work hard. You do what you're told. And what does life serve you? A shame sandwich. Every person in America is either a doer or a donter. A doer or a donter. And if I can get you to learn one thing today, one take home point, it would be this. Don't be a donter. Do be a doer. I had a wife, two beautiful daughters, a perfect partner. Thank God I left her. Now I'm with seven honeys of which I can choose from. <laughs> oh my God. Like me this guy understands me. Like you, woo. Well, it's simple. I don't know why God gave us 10 fingers, because we's only going to need three. Get a goal, get a plan, and get up off your ass. Which one are you, playboy? Me? No, someone else sitting in your seat. <laughs> Come on, which one are you? I'm a doer. Is that a question? I'm, I'm a doer. What is this, Valentine's Day? Say it like you want to hunt it, skin it, and mount his head on your wall. I'm a door. What? I'm a door. Yeah! I'm a door. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, and salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amu Gabar, back with another lesson, Lord willing to edify and to feed the lambs of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit, Rekha Kodash, and Lord willing this to be an edifying lesson, an exhortation to the flock. Now, um, the intro of this video was from a movie called Pain and Gain. I'm sure, you know, a lot of brothers probably seen it. You know, so it's actually, it's a good movie, actually. You know what I mean? Um, comedy with The Rock and Mark Wahlberg. And you have this guy, I forget his name, but he's a, he's a comedian, actor. You know, the, the, the Asian guy, I think he's Korean or something like that. But, you know, he's, an, he's another comic, comical cat. You know what I'm saying? But he made a statement, you know, in a, in a clip of the movie saying be a doer it was a motivational speak be a doer and not a donter you know what i'm saying which which is pretty funny but there was there's a lot of truth to it you know what i'm saying be a doer and not a donter and you know you could take that message and apply it to to this ministry to this truth be a doer and not a donter and that's in the scriptures all right let me read it real quick this is james chapter one this is james 1 and 21 it says wherefore lay apart all filthiness superfluity and naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. All right, because this word right here, this truth, this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, putting off that old man and receiving this truth is what you call being born again. All right, and this word is the, is, is the thing that is able to save your soul. All right, because the time is coming where it's going to get real ugly out here in society and... As the scriptures say in um, Isaiah 33 and 6, that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is the strength of his, uh, his salvation. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, so this word is what's going to save us in the times that, that are to come. All right. That's why the scriptures say, be doers of the word and not hearers only. Deceiving your own selves because you don't want to be an individual that um that, uh, that that's just a hearer. Okay. You hear the word. All right, you hear the word. You, you might you might be watching YouTube videos of all your favorite brothers and elders and apostles, and then as soon as the video is done, you go back to your world. You go back to your little world or, or your worldly lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? That's called being a, a hearer and not a doer because what you hear, you gotta apply it. All right, the scriptures t the scriptures tell you that faith without works is dead. All right, so you gotta have faith. How can you say you have faith by showing your work? You got to do things to show that you actually believe in what you in what you preach or what you or what you're hearing. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures also say that faith coming by hearing and by hearing the word of the most high. OK, so you got to be a doer of the word and not only hearers. OK, deceiving your own selves, because you you know, I'm sure there's going to be people out there. Just like the Lord said in Matthews, that not everyone that's saying to me, Lord, Lord. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven Because You know Hey 
the scary thing is you're gonna have people out there who thought they was part of this because they was hearing it and they they you know they was cheerleading pretty much they was agreeing yeah 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 you know you but then after it's all said and done they went back to doing worldly nigga shit you know what i'm saying and yeah they might know the name of the lord but did they do that that was commanded um unto them to do that's what you got to ask yourself that's why the scriptures say examine yourself daily whether you be out of faith man you know what I'm saying? You got to examine yourself. You, you know, I'm telling myself this. We got to examine ourselves. You know, why, you know, examine the things we do, meditate on the things that we've done and 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 question and ask yourself if this move is the next move, is the right move, so on and so forth and just examine yourself to see if you really about it, man. You know what I'm saying? And then with this thing comes, you know, you know, practice so to speak, man. It takes it takes work. Because remember, we we are uh, uh, um, uh, through the spirit of the Lord. The Lord is molding us to be perfect men, to be men, as the scriptures say, tried in the fire, being refined as gold is in the fire. You know, it, it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be easy, man. But hey, ain't nothing supposed to be easy at the end of the day, man. You know, you know, easy come, easy go, as they say, right? So you want to be, it says, but be doers of the word and not hearers only. Deceiving your own selves, like 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 um, like the like the dude said, be a doer and not a donter, meaning you you're doing it, all right, and you're not you're not not doing it, okay. If you if you if you want it, you gotta do it. You gotta do what you gotta do to get it. You know you can't say you want it and not do what it takes to get it. And in this case, what do we want or what do we need? Salvation. We need the king. We need the kingdom. You know, but before the kingdom come, we need you know we need salvation from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. And being delivered from Yahweh Bashem Shah, the Lord says he's gonna give every man his crown. Alright, they they're gonna receive his, that crown. Just like Ezra seen the young men of great stature placing crowns on all of them that stood stiffly for the word of the Lord. Okay, and the scriptures say in Revelation that behold, the Lord come quickly, hold fast, hold fast to that which thou have that no man take your crown. Alright, so we working in this thing to ultimately receive salvation. That's why we in it. To be saved from the things that are about to come. From the perilous times that are about to come upon this earth, man. That's why we in his truth. You know? So it says, For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of what manner of man he was. Alright? So, you know, you you know, it's like you hearing you hearing his truth. Back to the example I gave you, hearing his truth. You watch brothers' videos, you know, or whatever the case is, and then yeah, you all in it, you all in it. But then when when the, when the video is off, you go back to do worldly shit, nigga shit, forgetting forgetting you know what, what man of person you was, you know. You don't want to be like that. You want to always apply these scriptures, man. You know, application of the scriptures is is where growth comes. Okay, you gotta live it. You gotta live this word. You gotta live this live this. This this lifestyle, this lifestyle, so to speak, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, and that, that's you know for anybody, man. It's just generally speaking, be a doer and not a donter, man. You hear the words of the Lord, try your best to do it. You know, at the end of the day, the scriptures say in Judges five and eleven that that in the place of drawing waters, which is talking about slavery, that we there shall they rehearse a righteous act. The righteous acts is ultimately talking about the scriptures. I mean, the law, statutes, and commandments. Keeping the laws So that's what we do To the best of our ability We try to keep the laws You know what I'm saying And if it's in you To do it You know if that That fire is burning Within you to do Do according to the word Or the Lord Then do it You know that That's your calling Calling you out to do it That's your spirit Telling you to do it You know So it said But whoso looketh Into the perfect law Of liberty And continue therein He being not Forgetful He being not A forgetful hearer but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. All right, so you want to be a, a doer of the word, all right, and not a forgetful hearer. You know, the Lord says He's gonna bless you, meaning you hear the word and you just don't straight straightway forget forget all about it, but you do the work. Okay. Now the scriptures also mention the the perfect law of liberty. Liberty means freedom. You know what I'm saying? And through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Like, like the scriptures say, he did make his his men, the elect, free from the law. All right, but we ought to keep the law. 
All right, we have to fulfill the law because the Lord, didn't, the Lord did not come to destroy the law, but to fulfill the law, as the scriptures say. You know, and then you have a righteousness which is of faith, which is spoken of with, with, with Abraham. When you read uh, the book of Hebrews eleven, it talks about the righteousness which is of faith. You know, and back to what I said, the scripture that I quoted: "Faith without works is dead." You know, how can you say you have um, faith but you have no works? So they go hand in hand with each other. All right, so yeah, be a doer and not a donter, man. You know, you want to do the work, you know? And this is um, James 4 and 17. It says, therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth not to him, it is sin. So if you know to do good, but you don't do it, it is sin. All right, so when you hear this word, man, you held accountable for everything here on out. All right, so people that heard the word and took no heed, they mocked, they scoffed. They just totally um, avoided the words that were coming out of the mouths of the prophets through the Holy Scriptures. These people are going to be held accountable, you know, for the things that they know. All right. Just like if you know the word of the Lord, you know, this truth, you got to live by it, man, because the Lord is still going to hold you accountable for everything that you know. All right. So it says, therefore, to him that knoweth to do good. So if you know to do good, but you don't do it to him, it is sin. You know, so, you know, the scriptures. You know the breakdowns, you know the, the different um, sayings of our Lord, you know, our power. You know all these things, but if you're not applying it, then you're going off, man. You got to apply these scriptures, all right? You got to apply the scriptures. There's no point, there's, there's literally absolutely no point in being able to quote every single scripture under the sun, having a photographic memory that you can pull scriptures and call scriptures and, and, and break them down, but not applying it. That's absolutely, that's pointless, man. That's pointless, man. You know what I'm saying? So if you know how to, you know, if you know, that's that's a gift. In other words, that is a gift for guys, for brothers that that have that memory like that. That's a gift. You know, but you want to apply that too. You want to apply that gift, man. All right, you want to apply that, man. You know, you got some brothers that have effed up memories. You know, but you know whatever whatever scriptures they can remember, and whatever truths you know and sayings of our Lord. You know, brothers apply it, and that 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 goes a long way. That goes a long way, man. All right. So, um, this is the book of Luke, chapter twelve, and I'm gonna start at forty-three. It says, "Blessed is that servant whom his lord, when he cometh, shall find doing, shall find so doing. Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he had." Now, when you read up, it talks about the Lord. You know, and, and, and the talents, you know, uh, the Lord gave them, you know, let me see. Should I read up uh, through the Spirit? Let me see. I might read up a little. I might read up to 40, 43. I mean, 36 says, And ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servant whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Right now, it's talking about watching. Now, you have another parable with the talents, all right? The Lord gave the talents for men to go and multiply those talents. And you had some that hid it in the earth, that hid it in a napkin. All right. And they knew that the Lord was a, a wrath, a wrathful and an austere man, but they still were slacking on their gifts. Okay. Now it says, Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. All right. Now, what, the Lord set up watchmen. Now, the watchmen are the men that are going to prophesy because when you watch, Watchmen, they watch for danger, they watch for things, and they blow that trumpet. Now, spiritually, in these days, we're blowing a trumpet by prophesying, okay? That's how you watch, and that's how you be be a watchman unto the house of Israel, by blowing that trumpet, which is prophesying. Part of blowing that trumpet is warning people about the mark of the beast. That's, that's one of the main things, all right? Warning people about these false prophets, calling them out, because you have wolves and sheep clothes, and that will try to come and devour the sheep. That's why, you know, through the spirit of apostles on down, call out different guys that are going off. It's nothing about hatred or jealousy or who got more people in their congregation and all that crap. It's about it's about truth's sake, man. You know, so it says, Verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. You know, so that's that's um, called giving diligence, man. Because we don't know 
Well, the scripture is going to say here, and this know that the good man of the house, that, let me read that again. And this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not suffered his house to be broken through. Be ye therefore ready also for the son of man cometh at an hour when ye think not. All right, so you got to give diligence because we don't know the exact time, day, and hour when the Lord, when the Most High is going to send you how to come back and destroy this place. But we know that we're living in that time. All right, we know that we're living in that time, and you know that's why scriptures also mentioned about um, in Luke nine that um, uh, was it Luke nine and sixty two? I think yeah, that no man putting his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom, because you got guys like the scripture saying in Apocrypha, woe to them that have lost, lost patience. You got people that have lost patience because the Lord didn't come when they when they was hot, the Lord didn't come when they was on fire for the word, so eventually they got cold. You know, they got cold and, and, and just went back into the world, man. You know, so the Lord say, woe, meaning death to those people that lost patience. All right. So it says, then Peter said to him, Lord, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us or even to all. And the Lord said, who then is that faithful and wise steward whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household to give them their portion of meat in due season? Because the time is coming where... The Lord is going to set up the elect. All right. Ultimately, it's going to be in the kingdom of heaven because the elect is going to be the ruling class. All right. In the kingdom of heaven. The elect is going to be the elites in the kingdom of heaven. All right. So it says, blessed is, is that servant whom the Lord, when he cometh, find, shall find doing so. Of a truth, I say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he hath. But and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his cometh, his coming. And shall begin to beat the men servant and the maid servant to eat and drink and to be drunken. The Lord of that servant will come in the day when he looketh not for him. And that an hour when he is not aware and will cut him asunder and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. So for guys that fell out the truth, all right, they, 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 you know, they was hearers. They became doers. And then they just all together just stopped being a hearer and a doer. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said he's going to cut them asunder. And they're going to have their portion with the unbelievers. And the unbelievers fit in the category with the, the rest of the two-thirds the, um, from Esau to these other nations, all right, because they're unbelievers. All right, so the punishment that they're going to receive is the punishment of the wicked, man. All right, so you don't, we don't, we don't want to be that, that them, you know, them guys, man. We don't. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's why we pray. We ask the Lord to, to keep his spirit on us. Um, the book of Psalms 51 Take not thy Holy Spirit from me You know We pray that the Lord Always be with us man You know And strengthen us When we feel weak Through the Spirit Alright You feel weak Through the Spirit You know Get with get with the brothers man You know Get with, get with the brothers The scriptures say Where two or three Are gathered in my name I am in a mist Alright So you know if you, Hey that's just That's just That's a tool you can use You feeling weak in the Spirit Get around some brothers You know what I mean Pray You know Fast you know, read some scriptures, watch some videos, you know, do things spiritual to strengthen yourself, man. All right, because the Lord said that he's going to come, in a, you know, he's going to come in a day when that person looking not for him. You know, so for guys that fell out, they just stopped looking for the Lord. They just stopped, you know. All, all, the, all the truth about the mark of the beast, the RFID chip and World War III, they just totally just threw that all out the window. It says, and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. So if you knew all these things, the Lord said you can be beaten with many stripes. You can be beaten with a lot of stripes, more than somebody who didn't know, because it's going to say, but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. So for a guy that just, that just didn't know versus a guy that was in the truth but fell out, all right, now he's back in the world. You know, with the same nigga who never knew. The guy that once knew is going to be beaten with main, way, way more stripes than the guy that never knew. So that guy that, that didn't know could probably just get shot by a cop or something like that, right? You know, in these, these last days. This is just an example. He could get shot by a cop and killed, you know, right, right there instantly. But the guy that knew, he might end up seeing it out all the way through to the famine. He going to starve to death. You know, he could starve to death. Or if he starve and make it, he, the missiles could get him. That's in the scriptures too You know what I'm saying So that's even worse That's even worse man <coughs> Hey Lord ain't nothing to play with man the Lord is not nothing to play with This is the greatest This is the greatest gift This is the greatest gift in the universe 
All right, this is the greatest thing of all times. This is this the knowledge that we have is from the heavens above, man. This is some hey, this is some powerful stuff. All right, we know more. We know more than the damn rulers of this world, the elites. We know more than them. On the spiritual side, man, on the right hand side, we know more than them. Okay. See, see, check this out, right? It just made me think. Like, I say we know more than the elites. Well. For us, being the Israelites, the sons of the Most High, right? We uh, we were designed, we were made to be righteous, but we had to taste of, you know, what it, we had to taste both sides, right? So we know what it's like to be righteous, and we know what it's like to be wicked. But the the Edomites, the elites, they only know what it's like to be wicked. They don't know what it's like to be righteous. So you know, in other words, we we we, we, we do know more than them, man. Huh? We got more spiritual experience than they do. You know what I'm saying? So hey, we hey man, that's heavy. But anyway, reading on. It says, but that but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes, for unto whom soever much is given of him shall much be required. So this knowledge is not nothing to take lightly. If you know you are Israelite, you know the name of Yahweh Shemi Al Shine, you have that faith, that gift, then a lot is given unto you, man. A lot more than men can understand, and that's in the scriptures. Alright? More is given to us than men can understand. You know, the, the the whatever talent the Lord gave you, that's that's a lot more. Excuse me. <coughs> whatever talent that the Lord gave you according to your portion, you know a lot more than anybody in this world, man. So take that and run with it, man. You know? Again, you know, for you brothers that might watch, you know what I'm saying? Or even you, I mean, even you sisters that may watch. You too. All right? Because we bring our scriptures on how a woman should conduct herself, so on and so forth. You can't just hear it, like the video, say shallow warm and go about being a damn, a damn uh biatch, all right? Okay? <laughs> now I'm not trying to curse or whatever, but I'm just keeping it real. You gotta apply it, man. You gotta apply it too. For you, for you sisters that call yourself sisters and believers, man. You know, we get on men and women here, man. Alright? Mainly the men. Alright, we could we get on you first, because you you the head of the household, man. Alright, so. For uh, for unto whom so much is given, of him shall much be required. So, like 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 they like um what is it like your man Spider Man? His quote is, "With great power come great responsibility," and that's true. All right, they got that from the scriptures. With great power come great responsibility. So this truth is powerful. So you're responsible more than the people that are not enlightened with this truth. So it says, "And to whom men have committed much, of him." They will ask the more. All right, so let me go to my last scripture and I'm going to close out. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. All right, so whatever you find your hand to do, do it with all your might. All right, because there's no work. You ain't, ain't going to be working. You ain't going to be working in a grave. All right, you ain't going to be, you know, no, none of that. Because at the end of the day, when you die, your, your spirit goes back to the heavens, right? Your spirit goes back to the heavenly father. All right, so it ain't going to be no working as far as ain't gonna be, you ain't going to have to be out there setting up camp, all right, pushing this truth, doing sit-downs, going out there in the highways and byways, or anything like that, man. All right? So whatever you find, like the scripture say, I'm going to quote it again, Luke 9, that any man putting his hand to the plow and looking back is not fit for the kingdom. So when you plowing, you you putting in the work. You gotta keep on going. You gotta keep plowing. You can't stop plowing. You gotta keep on plowing till it's, till it's done. All right, till the harvest is ready. All right, till the end of the world, so to speak. So whatever you find your hand to do, do with all your might. And we could even take that even um onto the carnal side of things, man. All right, you don't want to half step in anything, man. You you wanna you wanna you you got a goal. You got a goal in mind. You set a goal. Then do with all your might because. You know, half-stepping ain't never gonna get you anywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? Half-stepping ain't gonna get you nowhere. No results come out come out of half-stepping. All right, half-stepping meaning, you know, for you old, you know brothers that are older, you know, half-stepping, Big Daddy Kane, or whatever, meaning, you know, you, you go full force with it. You go all out. All right? No pussyfooting. So whatsoever thy hand finds to do, do it with all thy might, for there's no work, no device, no knowledge, no wisdom in the grave with thou go it. So do this work, man. You know what I mean? Be a be a doer of the word, and not only a hearer. Be a 
be a doer and not a donter like like my man said be a doer and not a donter you know what i mean do it man just do it you know like the nike slogan just do it all right the lord gave us a great gift man do it man do it all right i will reward it. uh i would like the scriptures like the scriptures say our labor is not in vain man our labor is not in vain our labor is not in vain so we're gonna see real soon you know, hey, may the Lord how about you shall put the spirit on all of us to see this thing out through to the end and we'll receive our crowns and we'll see all you Akia man, all you brothers that have been enduring to you know from the from the beginning to the end, up in them chariots, man, with our Lord, Lord willing. And man, everything will be right, man. You know what I mean? After all, all the hell is, you know, said and done on this side, man. So I hope and pray to how about Shimmy Shai through the Holy Spirit that this was an edifying lesson to the elect. So next time I say shalom.